Hey doing folks, uh, I'm gonna do this video today on trying to find your knock height. Uh, this is how I, how I do it, was, is with a flex shaft and a bear shaft. So I'm gonna start out at about 15. Whatever you got on your bow, or you gonna put on your bow, make sure it's on it. Whether, you know, from string silencers to, to your quiver and have some arrows in the quiver. So that way everything is getting tuned. But uh, to your knock height is is what we're going to work on but make sure everything that you're going to use on that bow is going to be on it when you start the whole process so what I'm going to do is start out about 10 yards I left the bow set up the way JJ had it from Bob Lee and we'll just see how it goes so I'm going to keep you right here at the target and I've just got I put the regular inserts in uh, with 150 grain head and I'm just going to you know real quick and try to find the knock height and it may stay at a half inch and it may not every bow's different so you just gotta kind of experiment a little bit make sure I'm grabbing the right one because I'm messing around with two different grains uh, up front weights so we'll mess around with this aluminum with 150 grain head so I'm gonna start about 10 yards and see what we got So we're a little bit, we're pretty close. See right here, I'm not real far off. So I'll just drop it, run it on back to 15. Less shots I take, even though I ain't worried about knock high, knock left. I'm just worried, I'm just, well, I'm worried about where my bear shaft and my flex shaft are impacting. If they're impacting together, if, if my, hold on a second. And if my, uh, if my flex shaft is really high, like say three to six, about six inches, then I'll make an adjustment. But if it's like within, like there was like within an inch, I won't even mess with it. I'll just run back to 15 real quick. So that was my 10 yard. It looked barely good. So I'll just keep on moving. I'm gonna go back to 15. Okay, so now you can see I'm impacting at the same height, even though it look it's showing me weak. I already know my shafts are kind of weak, so uh, my whole ideal is to cut them down, and I'm going to add a little bit more tip weight. So uh, that's at 15 yards. So I would say that's good. I'm not changing anything. So we'll just pull these out real quick, and we'll run walk out to 20. 20, 22 yards, and all I'm doing is looking for, uh, you know, the height of them. I'm not worried about left and right or spine right yet, but I'm pretty close to the spine. I'd rather be just a little bit weak, so that way I can start my whole tuning process. So uh, you'll be behind me this time instead of at the target. And I ain't really taking that many shots, so Fewer the better for me. Uh, if I get to shooting too much and I start making mistakes and trying to overthink it. I'm 
just gonna leave the boat right here and we'll walk down here real quick it's a lot of walking i, I try to use a flat shaft and a bear shaft and uh i got way off so now you can see there's a difference in them i shot way over here but it's like I say but they're pretty much close i'll what I'll do is pull these out, shoot them again. It's like I'm still uh, knock high a little bit. I mean, you can get them, you know, I'm, what I try to do is get them to hit at the, you know, at the same height. So when I start tuning, it's cutting the arrow down a little bit. It's gonna start moving that bear shaft over closer to the flex shaft. And then when my feathers get wet, they're always gonna impact exactly when my feathers are dry. So we're gonna shoot it again, make, see if I can pull off a little bit better shot on my flat shaft. Like she's a little bit low. We'll find out though. We'll walk down here and check it. But if you notice on my target, I've got a vertical line and a horizontal line. I'm just basing. So that's a little bit better. So they're pretty much within an inch. So I may make an adjustment on that and that may help. Uh, I may just twist it down, but that's pretty consistent you know pretty much and that's what you're looking for i mean i know it's impacting my bear shaft impacting to the right for a right-handed shooter that'd be a weak weak spine and sometimes your uh, targets can give you false readings uh my whole goal after i'm done is for them to impact here on the vertical line be either touching this line or in it I would rather it be just a little bit in it or into the center. Uh, you can do this with a string and run it all the way out. So my knock height's pretty much, pretty much there. I may make it a little adjustment down, but that's a basic way to find your knock height by using your uh, bear shaft. And I can twist it down just a hair and I'll do it and see how it does. And I'll let you see it. So I'm not gonna roll it down a whole whole lot because I'm barely close at 20. But if I keep going back, it's gonna be uh, pretty much. And I got an adjustable knot that was tied on at Bob Lee, and all I do is twist it downward a little bit, and we'll take a couple more shots. And I'll and what I'll do is take my square and check it after if it's where i want it and i'll take my square check it and remember that uh remember that height and that way when you use you got another string and use the same material all you gotta do is refer back write it down somewhere and you can just put it exactly right where it was when you toned the last time save you a lot of time Okay, we'll walk down here and look at that. Hopefully that would bring it up unless I drop my bow arm, which that's a good possibility. All right, so now, kind of raise it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna call my knock height pretty good. So they're getting a lot better. So I pretty much, if you can see that, there we go. And, uh, I'm gonna call that knock height good. Then now I can just go into messing with the spine of the arrow and start doing my little process with that. And I hope this helps. Uh, and I would, you know, highly recommend using your bear shaft. Uh, 
at least you'll know how your bear shaft shoots whether you're weak normally if you're weak spined or really weak i have seen them where it's so weak or not real weak but stiff i did on the other side of the spectrum where it was so stiff it would go sideways completely and it just would be out of spine and also uh when i get done with all this i'm gonna check everything with a bear well not with a bear shaft but with a uh flat shaft and my broadhead so my broadhead will be my final say on what my tune is so just keep that in mind so i hope this helps and i hope y'all have a great day and god bless